Okay, so I want to just do a quick video on Bitcoin public and private keys. So this is going to be Bitcoin basics, very, very basic, just trying to get your head around the concept of what is a public key, what is a private key, and how are those two pieces of data related to sending and receiving Bitcoin on the blockchain. All right, so all of this information is also in the book, Bitcoin Clarity, and in a course that I've also made. So let's just dive into it. Oh, links for both of those things you can find below. The difference between what we think of of keys in the physical world and the difference between keys in this Bitcoin cryptographic world is that there are two types of keys in, in cryptography, right? We have the public key and the private key, and we don't know exactly what that means yet. We do understand what a basic key is, so let's view that now. So this right here is an animation of a standard physical key. The idea The idea is you could turn the key one way to lock the door, or you could turn the key another way to unlock the door. Uh, I'm saying door here, but obviously a lot could be for anything, right? So the difference between a Bitcoin key and a physical key is that we split these two functions into two separate keys. So we have a private key that unlocks and we have a public key that locks. So if this visual isn't enough for you to understand it, let's walk through it, a more specific, um, a more specific scenario for, for Bitcoin. So the way Bitcoin works is that when you want to receive Bitcoins, if I were to send you Bitcoins, you would send me a copy of your public key. So this is you on the right, you have your public key, and then you send that over to me so then I have a copy of it. The next thing that I do is I take your public key and I lock up some batch of Bitcoins represented as this little, cute little box over here. I lock up some Bitcoins on your behalf in a box and then I send the lock box back to you. Now, because you have the corresponding private key for that public key, you can then unlock that box that I just sent you. So the idea is, is we'll summarize again. You send me your public key. I lock up Bitcoins for you using your key, and then I send you your coins. Now only you can unlock it because only you have that private key. So what's new here is that instead of having one key as we would with a, a, physical, a physical lock, we separate this functionality into two keys, right? The public key is it allows me to lock things up for you on your behalf, and the private key allows you and only you to open it. The reason why we do this is so that you don't ever have to send that private key through an unsecured channel, right? Because when you send me your public key, I can't unlock stuff for you. I can only lock stuff for you, meaning that you keep your private keys presumably offline. This is why we use things like hardware wallets or cold storage, where we keep our private keys offline entirely. And the idea is, is you never have to send that private key. You keep it only to yourself, private. Okay, in Bitcoin, public keys are used for locking and receiving Bitcoin on the blockchain. And private keys are used for unlocking and sending Bitcoins on the blockchain, right? So we can visualize this just a slightly different way because now we wanna relate the functionality of locking and unlocking to sending and receiving. So in a transaction, the sender unlocks their funds on the blockchain. Assuming, let's say I have some Bitcoin, again, that I'm sending to you, I unlock my Bitcoin, I'm the sender in this case, using my private key, and then I lock that same Bitcoin up for you using your public key, right? And all this is happening on the blockchain, except for the private keys are off. And you know, this is, this is a bit of a nuance. We'll get to that at a later time. We're trying to stay basic here. In Bitcoin, locking and locking is the same function as sending and receiving. A private key allows Bitcoin to be spent a public key allows Bitcoin to be received by locking Bitcoins for the recipient. All right, so that's my five minute video on Bitcoin keys. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments section below. If you wanna learn more about Bitcoin, you can, you can check out the next video, which will probably be about keys, addresses, and wallets. All right, see you there.